Okay, guys. You wanted another Elemental Shaman video. I did not want another Elemental Shaman video because I don't like Elemental Shaman. So here is what I've been up to. I've been up to killing Lich King, doing 10-man ICC with my friends, an old group of people I used to raid with, all that kind of jazz. Now, what you might see from the video is, yes, I'm no longer an Orc. No, my name is no longer marked. And yes, I am still on the server a month or so not a lot has changed in that factor. What has changed is that I do not play Elemental anymore. I rated 25 man as Elemental, but I do not like Elemental anymore. So, with that in mind, this is Resto. This Elemental... Uh, elemental, sorry. This Lich King kill I did as Resto. I did not record the whole fight because, as it stands, my computer did not have enough memory left in it to record the whole thing. I lost my hard drive, blah blah blah. So this kill unfortunately is me as Resto. But back to the point. What I touched on in my first video. Terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. Honestly, um I do even though I don't keep even though I don't play Elemental Shaman anymore, I still keep up with facts. Now three point three brought a lot of changes to the Elemental Shaman. It brought in Fire Nova, our first real AoE spell. This brought on a lot of problems. Yes, we have an AoE spell. Yes, we have to be in melee range to use that AoE spell. Yes, that means we only have 100% threat on the target, so you cannot open up straight away with a Magma Totem Fire Nova th Thunderstorm. All that kind of jazz. Instead, it took me ages to do it, but I did. I constructed a proper DPS rotation for AOE. Now, what this consists of... Ah, let me think. Flame Shock. Uh, first, you've got to run in put your Magma Totem down, so we'll start from the basics. Magma Totem, Fire Nova, Flame Shock, Chain Lightning, Lava Burst, Fire Nova, Chain Lightning, Lava Burst, all that kind of thing. Now you see, obviously, I just took a screenshot because it was pretty groundbreaking. We spent four weeks trying to kill Witch King and never got it. So, a few things that have changed. Um, yes, we got Lich King. Yes, uh, I got a new Fraps. And yes, I've got a new computer. So the background noise you're hearing is probably just the fan or whatever I happen to hit in my way of making this narration. Yes, this is unscripted, yes, this is crap, and yes, this has probably got nothing to do with Elemental Shamans anymore. But continuating, continuing on. Um, yeah, 3.3. .3. Elemental Shaman AoE Rotation, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to hear about that. What you do want to hear about is what I've been up to. And what I've been up to is I've been up to a new main. I've been up to my Hunter. And I now play my Hunter, I raid full... Yes, my Hunter, I raid full-time on him on a guild called Innuendo on the server Manthol. He is my baby, my prized possession. Um, so... What you'll mainly see in this video is just random clips of me doing pretty much nothing because, of course, this is unscripted, unplanned, all that kind of jazz. I just thought I'd throw this together because I wanted to show off our Lich King kill. I didn't quite want to show off anything else. So, uh, 3.3. Yes, the tier 10 bonus. Very, 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 very changing to the Elemental Shaman rotation. You no longer stay away from Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning is now your friend because of the 2 set bonus. You want the two set bonus, you go for the two set bonus, and you use chain lightning when you have the two set bonus. Now, that is not to say you use it on every cooldown, because you don't. What you do use it on is after a lava burst or when there is two targets. Or it is also in DPS increase to use it when clear casting's up, but that's too hard to manage for normal people unless you're a fucking monkey like me. So, what we have 
is the two set bonus and the four set bonus. You go for both of these bonuses, the only piece you drop is the legs. The legs are shit. And you can get much better legs crafted or dropped from Rot Face in 25 ICC is the ones I use, I am pretty sure. Um, so, other than that, no, you do not yeah, use, yes, you use Chain Lightning on a single target now because of the tier 10 two-piece bonus. Um, you'll probably see me moving to the left a lot um, because, well, I changed my key bindings for uh, on my Hunter and on my Shaman because I was getting annoyed with having different key bindings, all that kind of crap. But I'm <laughs> I haven't played Ellie since I changed my key bindings, so it's a bit it's a bit foreign, and I'm used to my old key bindings. So that's what you'll see me doing. You'll see me moving incorrectly because of my bad key bindings. Um, yeah, this is just random clips of me killing stuff. Not a lot of talking about the Elemental Shaman, um, but that is to be continued. Alright, so, in-game gear shaman, what glyphs do you use? Of course, you still use glyph of lightning bolt and glyph of flame shock. Actually, uh, I forgot to talk about that. Flame shock has been changed to scale with your haste. Now, this brings good news and bad news. Good news is that it ticks a lot faster and does a lot more deep yet bad news is it just doesn't last long enough. With the four piece bonus, yeah, you keep, your, you keep it up longer, but it's not that good. Um, it's good for DPS, but not good for DPS in the fact that you have to uh, keep refreshing it more than you used to. So, that's good, and I completely lost track of what I was talking about. Glyphs. Um, Glyph of Lightning Bolt is a custom, that is 100% have to. Now, Glyph of Lava versus Glyph of Totem of Wrath. Now, if you're in a good 25-man guild, you should have a Demonology Warlock. I am on my sh well, I was on my Shaman, so I took the Glyph of Totem of Wrath out and replaced it with a Glyph of Lava, because that is better for DPS once you reach 3,124 spell power buffed. So... Actually, I think that's the when you replace Glyph of Lightning Bolt with Glyph of Lava and you keep Glyph of Totem of Wrath. I don't know. I don't drop Glyph of Totem of Wrath with a Demo Lock. I drop Searing Totem and Fire Elemental Totem. And this will be continued in the next narration clip. Alrighty, now the Fire Totems. Drop Fire Totems if you have a Demo Lock in your raid. It will boost your DPS by so much you will just not imagine it. Greater Fire Elemental Totem. You have this spell. You have this totem. Drop it. Drop it when it has two minutes to kill a boss. And your DPS will skyrocket. Trust me. I know. I hold the highest DPS spots on the server. Uh, on the uh, for Horde side as an Elemental Shaman. And I still have for so long. So trust me, drop fire totems, can't stress it enough. Alright, so that concludes our Elemental Shaman Guide catch-up, whatever you want to call it. Feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, ask me a question on YouTube or contact me in-game. I will put my Hunter's name in the description, my Shaman's name in the description, whatever. This has been another poorly produced Elemental Shaman Guide brought to you by Hades. Ting!